Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we are going to be talking about the undefeated Nike Dunk Low, this time in the triple black colorway. This is the third re reiteration of the Five On It collection. Let's take a quick sneak peek. What's up everyone and welcome back to another unboxing and review for you the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button we've got some amazing membership perks as well as amazing merch store all right so as discussed earlier we are going to be taking a look at the nike dunk low undefeated collaboration you have probably seen my past videos if you have not be sure to go back check those out but this is part of the five on it collection again in a triple black colorway so we'll go through the overview then talk about size and fit on these followed by styling obviously all black is such an easy colorway so definitely stick around for that as well as how these are doing on the resale market all right let's jump into it so one of the things that some people may not be a fan on is the fact that there is some real fur on this i know we'll get to that when we get to the side panels but we've got some just nice simple leather on this perforated toe box region then we've got simple black laces and we've got the undefeated logo on the top there on the top of the tongue we also have that exposed foam and that kind of dark charcoal gray tone there are also are an additional pair of laces in black as well let's take a look at those details and then move on to the side panels So moving on to the side panels, you'll notice that we do have some fur on here and it actually says it inside the shoe that it contains real fur and it's dyed adult boven fur that originated from Brazil. Uh, and that's only on one side of the swoosh. The other side of the swoosh is actually more of a tumbled a leather and black, but we do have more perforation going on the underlays there on top of that leather. And then we have the debossed undefeated logo, which actually pops quite nicely off the black there. And then we have the Nike again on the black on black. On the inside, we've got the duo logos as well on a black insole. And then the shoe is completed with a simplistic black midsole and this icy dark blue outsole that's pretty transparent. Let's take a look at those last and final details.
All right, so moving on to size and fit. One of the things I did notice, these do fit on the smaller end. So I would say that my toes do hit the top of the toe box. So if you want a little extra space, I would recommend actually going half the size up on these. If you're fine with not having too much extra space in the toe box region, then I think you would be fine sticking true to size. Uh, but my recommendation, if you do have high arch narrow feet like myself, is to go up half a size as well as this may differentiate if you do have flat wider feet. All right, now let's jump into styling. So I had so much fun styling these. This is definitely an all black colorway, which is obviously my favorite. So for the first look, I decided to go all black with a nice button down black blazer. And that was a nice, just simplistic vest. I paired that with some wide legged black pants for that all black look. look I wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit this time I added a little bit of color here with this kind of bluish and black plaid button down oversized shirt with a nice kind of knitted top underneath and some nice blue ribbed leggings just because I think the blue really popped off the accents of blue on this icy sole look I dressed up a little bit this time I decided to wear a nice pop of blue underneath a simple just black skirted dress and I think that the black leather really just went well with that pop of royal blue again I think the blue accent just really pulls from the blue in this shoe out of those three looks what was your favorite or how would you decide to style these shoes line up the dominoes one two knock them down just for fun and you fall for me because i got what you need eeny meeny miny more catch a lover by his door pick them like it's my job eeny meeny miny more who's the baddest of them all can't hold on to what's not yours that's for sure i don't want your love songs of me love me not i'll just keep dancing here and i don't spin in my head no one in my bed i'm good with me myself and i tell me that i'm Got it back for me a hundred July summer Miss me like no other Touch and it turns to gold My love, I keep it close I'll have you on your knees oh. Eeny, meeny, miny, more Catch a lover by his door Pick them up, then let them go Going through the motions like it's my job Eeny, meeny, miny, more Who's the baddest of them all? Can't hold on to what's not yours for sure Don't want your love songs Of me, love me not I'll just keep Dancing here And I don't spin in my head No one in my bed I'm good With me, myself And I am going 
but let's conclude with how these are doing on the resale market. So these retail for $120 and they are currently going between $140 to around $200 depending on what size you are. That's it for this episode. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel today, thanks so much for joining us. Be sure to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button. We've got some amazing membership uh, perks as well as an amazing merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you all in the next one.